Welcome Libra. <clears throat> this is going to be your September love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. So we have the Six of Cups, which is serenity and healing. Could be past energy or triggered by the past, memories, reminiscing. We also have the Eight of Rings. It's all about movement and progression with the Nine of Rings. Okay. Nine of Rings is coming up in the reverse. This can be reevaluating your whole life. We also have the Shadow coming in which is more of the devil card and this is about you know attachments restrictions sabotaging instant gratification um, temptation short-term happiness some challenges to overcome but the devil is here in the reverse which is a good sign I'll let you know in a minute because that's really good <clears throat> especially if you're new to tarot the devil is uh, pretty much amazing so it looks like somebody here wants to rush into your energy. Looks like they want a fresh start. Could be some type of commitment, marriage, beliefs. Hmm, maybe you've been in separation with this person for a while or just in no contact for a little bit. Because it does look like you're reevaluating if you are wanting to make the effort here with somebody. For some of you guys, the lovers is all about um, choices. Like, should I stay? Should I go? Is anything going to change? Like, you're asking yourself these really serious questions, you know, about this person. If this is something you want to continue. I don't I see like some type of new beginning that's something that wants to align with you here but what you don't see coming or like what in the near future it is the five of cups the five of cups could be trying to recover or it could be disappointment in some way that could have already happened just another disappointment or the same disappointment you're seeing and getting clarity on with the ace of swords there is some type of communication or movement that's coming in, but I feel like it's going to really determine if you want to stay or go within like this situation. The sun energy is absolutely beautiful. So this is telling me that in the past, there's a lot of positivity, fun, finding the light and a lot of darkness. Now that could be in general or within the situation, but I feel like you pick yourself up a lot when you have the sun here. But also the sun is here to say that whatever negativity is in this reading or in this situation, it's all about to outshine that, okay? So a lot of abundance comes in regardless. This is temporary from what the, the uh, sun is saying. Judgment is coming in in your energy, which is absolutely beautiful because it's all about you having an awakening, you embracing your true self, standing in your truth, and having some type of your own personal transformation that is helping you make a choice. And let go of the old crap and the old way of thinking right and to really clear your mind because you're having a new perspective you're having some type of awakening that is now kind of like all right how are we going to face this so your choices are going to be very clear but it's for the long term you're coming up really beautiful here with the queen of pentacles even though you are an air sign you're coming in very grounding you put others before yourself this is very nurturing comforting energy could be a hardworking parent or hardworking in general, but it does show that you have done a lot of healing and there may be some separation. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Let's get some more clarity on this, on what's happening here. So we have judgment. Let's get you and your person's energy here. Three of coins, the hair of him. This is talking about some type of commitment or beliefs are like differences here from what I'm seeing, okay? Because the Three of Coins is trying to work things out. This person's coming in very impatient. Looks like the King of Swords is coming in very stubborn, not to lie here, Libra. It does. <clears throat> the King of Swords is saying, my way or the highway. They're impatient. They're coming in fast. They want, they're, they're unfocused. You're coming in with a judgment call. So maybe they don't like that you're making the judgment call whatever the situation must be, but you seem very grounded and that you're willing to listen and to compromise and come together and work together. This person, total opposite. What is this lovers? Knight of Swords once again. 
I don't know if somebody's trying to make you rush to make a decision or trying to like something feels rushed, but with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, this is very impulsive energy. Quick decision without thinking of the consequences long term. So you may be dealing with somebody here uh, or something that happened. Four of Cups too is coming in. So there is like a bit of an energy of just wanting more out of a situation or wanting like something's not very satisfying when it comes to this connection. We have the Emperor energy and the Sun. The Emperor is all of, it could be a father figure, could be an ex, could be you. The Emperor energy is upright. So this is taking charge of your life and creating a solid foundation. This is you having the inner strength. I do feel like this is you. I feel like you've been through a lot of darkness here, either with this person or, a, a, you know, throughout your life, being, being surrounded by unhealthy relationships or toxic relationships. I feel you rise above that and you found, again, light within the darkest times. The devil is here because it's like you're not wanting this anymore. You broke free from these patterns. You broke free. You're breaking free from the grip of the devil of self-sabotaging, temptation, toxicity. And it feels like somebody here um, is kind of triggering you a bit to where you are wanting to talk and making a very big judgment call. This is not very small. This is a big deal. It's because somebody here is making you uh, reevaluate things. Okay. Six of coins. This person seems to be in their head a lot. I do feel like they are trying. They have been foolish. Okay. I feel with the with the world, this is more feeling unresolved. I do see you not really pushing it anymore. Kind of just like chilling. Just like you do what you got to do or however for some of you guys. I do feel like that's the energy you're putting out because of just how you're coming in in your energy. This person is like, okay. Well, we have unresolved issues. We need to fix this. Let's do this equal give and take. Just watch out for breadcrumbing. That's all I got to say. Is somebody giving you just enough to keep you around? I don't like that energy, but also it seems like somebody wants to bring something to balance because there is something unresolved and that they want to clear up. Okay. Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Somebody here you may be feeling is sneaky. You're not telling the whole truth about something. The Two of Cups energy with the Seven of Swords is that there's been a separation due to somebody's indecisiveness or indecisive, indecisive energy, or it can be cheating, lying, some type of betrayal, or someone not telling the full truth about how they really feel. The Seven of Swords also can be like white lies in a way of uh, in a situation when it comes to long-term commitment or when it comes to what you guys believe in. The King of Swords, once again, is coming out in the near future, going back and forth with their emotions from what I'm seeing in the month of September. Very hard to compromise or come together with an energy or for them to see more than their own side. It's going back and forth once again, and the King of Swords is very turning very, very cold, which is causing a very big disappointment within the connection. Now, Ace of Swords, let's see. Eight of Coins. It looks like to me that there may be no effort being put on your part right now. You may not even be talking to this person, okay? Even though like you have your wants, you have your desires, you have your boundaries, but something feels very defeated. The Two of Swords energy too is saying like something feels very stagnant, but it feels like you're needing to make a move. Death doesn't have to be endings, but it does mean change and transformation. So it's like you not putting in the work anymore because you found out the truth about something. So I feel like that's why I'm feeling like if you're dealing with a very stubborn or hurtful energy or someone who does not want to work with you or compromise with you, there's a sense of defeat and something that you are kind of accepting with that death card. It's allowing the universe just to unfold, letting go complete control of everything. So let's see what this person's, I am going to grab the dark confessions. I have not brought out the dark confessions, but we're going to get messages from your person. Okay. Let, let's get it like one card of confessions and then we'll get more of the hidden truths for you. <clears throat> more messages from your person let's see what their dark confession is
I pushed you away because I do not want the responsibility. I feel like somebody here is just not wanting to take responsibility too. There is an energy of that. I feel like there's like some type of um, impatience with this person with this King of Swords just by seeing this and the King of Swords and this energy, there are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. So there may be something here where somebody doesn't even know how to handle their emotions. They're so quick to be, to, to attack or so quick to judge or so quick to, you know, try to, try to get things in their way. But that's a very difficult, uh, energy to deal with that's why it's like you you have this beautiful emperor energy in the past where you have gone through a lot to where you're able to take lead in your life shows that you're very experienced in wise energy and you may be dealing with the night energy that is kind of impulsive not really sure up and down and then you have this king of swords who's like I'm angry now. I'm mad. I'm about to explode. So nothing really comes through. It's like their way or the highway type of energy. So I feel like you're more grounded, keeping your peace, still working on things that has the potential to grow and kind of allowing this to unfold. Death, there does need a transformation. There does. That's why death is here. It's like kind of like that make it or break it. But if there, if someone is going to continue to do something over and over again it's leading to death <clears throat> so by you kind of just you know letting just being you know taking a break from this just being grounded that you are allowing the universe to take complete charge of this okay because this is this could be you just like okay i'm i have my inner wisdom i am uh you know I have no regrets when walking away, but at the same time, this death card is is a needed for transformation. A lot of you guys could have already went through this with this person or got out of it. However, but what I'm seeing for the month of September is that there is a very very difficult energy you may be dealing with, or when it comes to compromising or being on the same page. We will be together again. And it was my fault, but I blamed you. That's that King of Swords, okay. And you speak to me through music. Okay, one more message from this person for Libra. This is more of the silent heart. Another message from their heart, from their silent heart. I feel like I can be my true self around you. All right, so this person does feel Maybe you are seeing this person's true self and that's why you're starting to understand how they operate. So for a lot of you guys, just kind of take a step back. Like they're gonna ruin it, not you, you know? That's what I'm feeling, Libra, to be honest. But that's what I have for you for the month of September. I do hope this message did help and bring some clarity. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.